In Methodism, we believe that grace is the undeserved, unmerited, and loving action of God and human existence through the ever-present Holy Spirit. Wherever God is present, there is grace. Grace brought creation into existence. Grace birthed human beings, bestowed on us the divine image, redeemed us in Jesus Christ, and is ever transforming the whole creation into the realm of God's reign of compassion, justice, generosity, and peace. In his sermon, The Scripture Way of Salvation, John Wesley summarized his understanding of the work of grace in saving and transforming human existence. He describes three movements or expressions of grace to create distinctive emphasis for living fully in response to God's creating, healing, reconciling, and transforming activity. They are provenient grace, justifying grace, and sanctifying grace. To understand these movements, let's take a moment to imagine them in a different way. Imagine there is a large, beautiful mansion set on acres of garden-like land. People are wandering all over this piece of land, some being respectful and some not. Some know who owns the land and mansion, but most do not. You know, the land is a place of peace, but you don't know the purpose. This land is God's pervenient grace, God's grace working in our lives before we are even aware of it. From the very beginning of our lives, God loves us and cares for us. God is constantly drawing us in, inviting us, even when we do not pay attention. Pervenient means to come before. And pervenient grace is the grace of God working in our lives before we are even aware of God. Some people want to go into the mansion. They ask others, how do we go in? But those who are outside don't know. Finally, someone notices that there have been people all along just opening the door and going in. Can everyone go in? Are they special people? You decide to go to the door. No one prevents you. You knock, but no one answers. You didn't notice it before, but there is a sign on the door that says all are welcome. You open the door and peek around it. The house is full of people. So you take a chance and step across the threshold into the house. The door is God's justifying grace and it is open to everyone. It is the threshold to the kingdom of God. Justification is another word for pardon. Stepping over the threshold is accepting Jesus into our lives, recognizing that we need to seek forgiveness. It is the only thing that we can do toward our own salvation. Everything else is part of the gift of God's grace. Justifying grace is when we embrace God's gracious gift of new life. We are welcomed fully as we are. God reconciles us to God's self, adopts us into the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, bestows upon us our identity as beloved children, and incorporates us into the body of Christ, the church. Once we have stepped through the door, it can never be taken from us. There are many people in the house, and as you wander through, you notice that there are also lots of rooms. In some rooms, people are reading the Bible and talking together. In some rooms, people are praying. In some rooms, people are singing and worshiping. In some rooms, people are teaching others. The rooms go on and on, and the activities in each are different, but each room is wonderful, and each room is a place you want to be. The mansion itself with all its rooms is God's sanctifying grace. Sanctifying grace is the grace that draws us deeply into holy living. The word sanctifying comes from sanctus, meaning holy. After we have embraced this new life, we seek to be more like Jesus, who God made us to be. We want to live a life of meaning. 
It is not enough to accept the new life. Once through the door, we continue to nurture our growth in grace. Being sanctified is something that goes on throughout our whole lives. John Wesley called it going on to perfection. This doesn't mean we're flawless. It means to mature in our faith. We can become perfect in love in this life. Perfect love is possible, but it doesn't mean we will be free from mistakes, temptations, or failure. There will always be times when we stumble, fall, and fail. For Wesley, growing as a Christian is all about being filled with love, which happens by the grace of God. But we get up and try again, knowing that we are loved and accepted by God for who we are. There is a place for us in the mansion of God's grace. Three kinds of grace, all active in all our lives at some point. We live on the land of God's provenient grace. God is constantly inviting us through the door of justifying grace. When we walk through that door, we are able to live in the mansion of God's sanctifying grace.